Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Professor Kiture Kindiki, the Honorable Chief Justice Martha Kome, esteemed judges present, and our Chief Justices Emeritus, Professor Willy Mutunga and Justice Maraga, distinguished participants, guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. When you have a, 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 a privilege to speak to such an audience, you don't want to have anything that is off record. So I just thought I should make some very formal remarks. Since its establishment in 2010, the Supreme Court has been the final arbiter on issues of justice that go to the heart of our national conscience. The matters you discuss here today, from the traditions of apex courts to the nuanced balance of judicial independence and accountability, are central not only to your mandate, but to the very core of our democratic system. The Supreme Court is more than the apex court. It is the conscience of our Constitution. The Constitution of Kenya guarantees the independence of our three arms of government. Yet, while we are in independent, we are not isolated. We are distinct, yet we are part of the same fabric that is Kenya. Our citizens do not separate us into the judiciary, executive, and legislature. They see only one government. And the expectation is for a government that works as a unified body to serve their interests, their needs, and their aspirations. Ladies and gentlemen, while the arms of government are in independent, we serve the same citizens and the same republic, and as such, inevitably, all arms are interdependent. I urge each of us gathered here, within the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature, to champion this spirit of interdependence in our approach to public service. As members of the judiciary, I also urge you to continue taking a firm stance against corruption. The Supreme Court has the power to set precedents and to reinforce the standards of integrity and fairness that echo through all sectors of our government. I appeal to all of us in public service to be beacons of honesty and transparency that our citizens look up to and expect. The Supreme Court is the keeper of the promise of democracy and justice. Every decision made here impacts not just today's Kenya, but the Kenya of generations to come. Today, we are on a journey together. The Supreme Court does not exist in a vacuum. It exists in a society to serve the society. The African proverb, which you all know, reminds us that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Let us be steadfast partners in building a just society one where the rule of law protects every Kenyan and guarantees their rights and freedoms. As we continue in this partnership or interdependence, let us commit to strengthening our institutions, enhancing the capacity of our staff, and encouraging a renewed spirit of service to Anainchi and for the national interest. This is our collective duty. Together we can realize a more just, prosperous, and equitable Kenya. Thank you. I was told that uh, 
I will now have the very rare opportunity to invite the Lady Chief Justice to the podium.